hello welcome back to my channel lumsy sews today's sewing project is how to sew a transparent inbuilt corset with deep sweetheart neckline the, this dress this corset dress has been trending it's by vicky james it has been trending on instagram and i decided to make it in my last video i made a tutorial on how to draft it so today is going to be how to sew this transparent corset inbuilt transparent corset with deep v-neck um, sweater neckline <laughs> i will be sharing with you guys all the sewing tips and tricks i use in sewing this transparent corset if that's what you want to learn then continue watching to the end to see all the process of making this this is the corset pattern that we're going to be sewing for today. In the last video, I made a tutorial on how to draft the corset with um, deep sweetheart neckline. And this is the outcome of the corset. This is the yoke, the sweeter, the deep sweetheart. Uh, can you see? Yeah. So if you have not watched that video, make sure you watch the video so that you understand and be able to follow up with this video. So this is the back. I will also go ahead and trace out and then cut it out from my fabric. So we are going to be cutting this and sewing this. I'll be using this lace fabric to sew this. I have this is a remaining of the fabric I have, but if you want to sew this, you can use one and a half yards for the lace and then you're going to use one yard for mesh illusion fabric. After tracing the front pattern, this is what I have. This is the center front and this is the side. I have made boning channels for it and I have notched it as you can see. Make sure you notch it so that you know where you're going to be passing your boning channels. So this is the front piece, the front panel and this is the side. I'm going to go to my machine now and I'm going to place right side facing together you can decide to do right side facing together or wrong side facing together now again you can decide you want lining for this but for this tutorial i'm not going to be using lining for this i'm just using my main fabric to sew this so i'm just going to go to the machine and sew the side seam and i will now make the boning channels for them then for the cup area i went ahead and used black interfacing for it guys make sure you don't use black interfacing i didn't have a white interfacing that's why i used a black interfacing is a sewing tutorial so i didn't you know bother to do that especially because i didn't have white so make sure you don't use black interfacing it must show no matter how um, thick the lace fabric is it must show so always use white on white and black on black so i'm going to go to my machine and i'm going to place the um, lace fabric on top of the main fabric and i'm going to place it like this and sew it so i'll do the same thing to the lining so this is me placing the channels making the boning channels for the corset if you want me to make a full tutorial on how to make boning channels let me know in the comment section and i will do that for you guys now let me use this opportunity to thank all my returning subscribers thank you i appreciate a whole lot and if this is your first time coming across my channel consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of my sewing tutorials and diy and guys please do give this video a big thumbs up and if i'm not doing well if you're not understanding me, if you want to give me a thumbs down no problem go ahead and give me a thumbs down or you can say whatever it is that you don't understand in the comment section and i will address that so after sewing the boning channels i went ahead and pinned the corset cup and i'm sewing it to the um to the main fabric as you can see you can decide to pin it before you sew or you can just sew it using the notches that you have made i'll go ahead and do the same thing to the other side see how the cup is already looking without the bra cup so i've not even inserted the bra cup and it's looking this beautiful so guys see why i said you shouldn't use black 
um, interfacing for a white can you see it's so obvious but i'm going to use embellishment to cover this up so this is it this is the my um bra foam i've added bra foam to this so guys to so the main business where we are here which is the sweetheart neckline so i have sewn the mesh fabric that i'm using as you can see i've also sewn the um, armhole so guys pay attention here this is the main reason why we are here i'm going to place the illusion mech fabric remember i have notched it if you watch the video on how i made the sewing to um the pattern drafting so i'm going to use the notches that i have made and place it to the balance points of all the places i made the notches i'm just going to sew it all the way around to this place after sewing on one side you're going to go ahead and also sew on the other side so i'm just going to place my hand here so that i hold it in place as if i have sewn it so i'm going to also turn it around the other way and pin it down in place you just go ahead use all the notches pin it around and sew it as you can see i've pinned down the mesh fabric onto the corset i'll go ahead and turn it over you can sew it from anywhere but because it's a transparent corset i can see whatever i'm doing from behind so i'm going to sew it starting from the v-neck and you know sew it all the way around I will also turn the other side of the fabric, the mesh fabric inside, and I'm going to sew it again. Align it very well on the uh, deep V neck line. So you're going to pin it down, align it properly with the notches. Remember the notches that we made there? You're going to pin it down according to the notches that we made. I'd like to use this opportunity to thank all my returning subscribers and all my returning watches. <laughs> please make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification bell icon, please. And drop a comment. Let me know how I'm doing in this, uh, my sewing journey. Now, if this is your first time coming across my channel, guys, this place is the best plug that you want to be on. Please subscribe and turn on your notification bell icon so you don't miss any of my sewing tutorial turn your notification bell on to all so that even my posts my shorts you'll be able to see them because i share a lot of things on these places so i'll continue with this sewing tutorial We are almost there guys this is it after sewing it can you see how neat the sweetheart neckline is so guys remember for the cupped corset we made a lining for it so i'm going to use the lining and turn the neckline of the sweetheart neckline can you guys see what i'm doing you pin it all around to the um to the end of the place that we notched um the center fronts there the center fronts where the v-neck started i don't know how to explain that but you know when you're sewing yours you should understand what i mean so i'm going to stop here and i will notch it when i'm sewing it so go ahead and pin it in place and then you will go ahead and then sew it guys did you notice i changed the um interfacing it was looking so untidy on my eyes so dirty with the black interface so i changed um the cupped area the cups corset area i changed it to the right color which is white as you can see so that way don't make that mistake i didn't have the white interfacing and white um um foam so that's why i used black but it was looking so dirty so guys don't make that mistake but you know it was a tutorial i thought i could go get over it but my eyes couldn't take that so i changed it so 
so guys i have sewn it to the um center front i'm going to go ahead and notch that place so that it will be easier for me to turn it over you go ahead and either you make notches on this place i'll take away my pins and make a notch is either you make a notch or you are actually going to um cut away the the allowance so that it's not bulky so i'll just you know do any of any of this either you do the notches or you cut away the ss i think cutting away the ss is better so um since it's a transparent corset so any bulkiness will not show so i'll go ahead and flip it over like this can you see how neat it is so guys you go ahead this is hood couture you go ahead and use your needle and thread and sew this in place that way you have a very neat clean finishes guys we have come to the end of this video and this is the end product of this sewing tutorial we've been making all along i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell icon thank you for watching bye bye see you on my next video